G-I-S Serving you better G-I-S Hello and welcome to the studios of the Government Information Service GIS for this press conference hosted by the Ministry of Sustainable Development, Energy, Science and Technology. My name is Shannon Abon, Information Assistant within the Ministry of Sustainable Development, Energy, Science and Technology. Of course, today's press conference is called to update the nation by way of you, the media, as to an eight-year-old issue at the Deglo Sanitary Landfill regarding the storage of used vehicle tires. Before we proceed, allow me to introduce our press conference participants to my immediate right, the Chairman of the St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Sustainable Development, Energy, Science and Technology, Mr. Sylvester Clozel. To Mr. Clozel's um, right, the General Manager of the St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority, uh, Mr. Dunley Ogeest. I also see in the audience the Public Relations Manager of the Authority, Ms. Emeline Jean, the Director of Information Services, members of staff of the Government Information Services, esteemed media colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome. The Deglo Sanitary Landfill facility recently became the focus of attention as hundreds of tires have accumulated at the facility following a breakdown of a small machine used originally for shredding the tires and um, brought to the facility for disposal. As I said in the introduction, it's an ATL, in, an ATL issue, which the Ministry of Sustainable Development through the Nusha Solid Waste Management Authority is indeed committed to addressing in the best interest of the nation. At this time, allow me to invite to deliver an opening statement on the issue the Chairman of the St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority and Permanent Secretary within the Ministry of Sustainable Development, Energy, Science and Technology, Mr. Sylvester Closer. Thank you, Shannon, and good morning to all of you, the media, media personnel. Thank you for responding to this invitation to receive a statement and to field questions on the, on the particular matter. I will read a prepared statement first of all, and then we shall proceed to take your questions. The Deglo Sanitary Landfill facility, as we know it, has recently become the focus of attention as a result of the recent outbreak of chikungunya in St. Lucia. This interest is associated with the many tires that have accumulated over an eight-year period in the landfill. There has been widespread speculation that the stockpile of tires may be contributing to the mosquito population in the immediate environs. This is not a new problem, and for a few years now, the St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority has used fogging machines to deal with the mosquito population in the landfill. However, these efforts no longer appear to be yielding the usual effects, as we have been informed by the pest control experts that over time, the mosquitoes eventually become immune to these pest control chemicals. Of course, the bigger issue is that of the accumulation of tires in the landfill, which occurred following the breakdown of two smaller tire shredders that were originally used for shredding the tires brought to the landfills for disposal. At the beginning of 2012, the authority purchased a new high-capacity shredder to deal with this problem. Unfortunately, the installation of this new machine requires very costly new electrical installations at Deglo, for which the, author the authority, despite its best efforts, has not been able to allocate the necessary funding. The only alternative is to seriously compromise contractual commitments to general waste collection and disposal throughout the island. The unfortunate reality is that the authority is a cash-strapped institution and is saddled with burdensome historical and current financial obligations. The Cabinet of Ministers was made aware of this problem and agreed to certain measures to improve the revenue flow of the authority. However, these initiatives will take some time to bear fruit. In the meantime, the authority has agreed to the following measures to deal with the immediate problem caused by the mosquitoes that may be breeding in the tires. One, 
a new pest management program will be undertaken immediately to control and monitor the mosquito populations at the landfill. The authority has engaged a professional pest control operator to assist it with implementing this program. Two, the authority is making an urgent attempt to obtain an advance of funds to undertake the necessary improvements and repairs to the electrical systems at Dayglo that will allow the new shredder to be put into operation. The authority is optimistic that these attempts will be successful once the funds have been secured. The electrical works will take approximately four weeks to be completed. The commissioning of the tire shredder will allow for the gradual reduction of the stockpile at both landfills, that is Viewfort and Deglo, to a shredder mass that will no longer pose a public health hazard. Additionally, the authority is in discussions with the Ministry of Sustainable Development, the ministry for which I am permanent secretary, and the UK-based Carbon War Room to implement a solution that will see the shredded tires and other waste at Deglo and Viewfort landfills converted into electricity which can then be fed into the national grid and sold to Lucilec. This will have two positive effects. One, it will bring in a new much needed revenue stream for the authority. And secondly, it will significantly extend the life of both landfills by reducing the volume of, of waste material that will be deposited at those landfills. The Solution, Management, the Solution Solid Waste Management Authority, as well as the Ministry of Sustainable Development, Energy Science and, and Technology, views this as an urgent matter and is mobilizing all resources towards addressing this matter as a priority. I thank you, and uh, myself and the General Manager, who was introduced early on, will be pleased to field questions based on this statement. Thank you, Mr. Clouzal. At this time, members of the media, we invite questions from you. We ask that you state your full name and um, what organization you represent, followed by your question to either the Permanent Secretary or the General Manager. David. There's a microphone. David. We're just going to pass. Yes, right. David. Yes, uh, there is a link uh, between the object or the spread of chikungunya disease and the, and the landfill and the tire situation. Um, there are suggestions that there might be, yeah. but you didn't address them, uh, Mr. Clozel. Can you yeah. tell us whether you have made the connection or whether the authorities have made the connection? Yeah. The, the first place, the disease chikungunya is caused by a virus. The virus is vectored that means it's moved from place to place or from person to person by the mosquito feeding habits. Now, if there's no virus, the mosquito can bite and feed and there's no chikungunya. But the disease was introduced into St. Lucia and that's the beginning of the problem. Then it changes everything. The mosquitoes you already have in the country that have been feeding and may have been causing you know, disorders including dengue, of course, um, the mosquitoes, if the disease comes in, the mosquitoes are then able to transmit them from person to person while it feeds. Now, we've had mosquitoes, you know, from <laughs> time immemorial. Mosquitoes have always been present in St. Lucia. However, the fact that the virus is now here makes it a different issue altogether. So now we have to be more careful that we regulate or manage the the population of mosquitoes in the island because not very much can be done about the virus itself. A virus is um, for just for general information, viruses are not easily destroyed. They're not easily destroyed. Whatever mechanism that will destroy a vi virus will destroy the biology of a human being. So it's not possible to destroy the virus. It has to be allowed to go through its, its phase. But what you can do is lessen the spread of the virus by controlling the mosquitoes that vector that particular virus. And that is the case with both dengue and chikungunya. Is that but probably to answer your yeah. question more directly, David, you're asking, has a connection been made? Yeah. And to be honest, mm -hmm. no. Basically, what the issue is, is that the investigation was conducted, and basically the there is mosquito larvae mosquitoes. and mosquitoes in, in the landfill. But to connect, 
connect that to the spread of chikungunya, that connection can only be made scientifically. Yeah. And that connection to my mind and the information we received has not been made directly. But basically, we have a responsibility that, as that if, we have a, a, um, if we have a, a facility that which be breeds mosquitoes, we have responsibility to contain that. And from that perspective, our response is as such. Definitely, that is why our pest management program will be undertaken to monitor and control the mosquito population at the sanitary landfill. More questions from the media. Uh, Samuel Suknanden, Sidnoja News Online. Um, basically, when would the intervention be made as to being rid of the mosquitoes in the landfill area? Because I know from the campaign of the Ministry of Health, they have been issuing um, people to get rid of their old tires and all of that. So while a connection hasn't been made, that is one of the, 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 the things that was, is being preached um, over and over again, get rid of your tires and, and the water in your, your 